Amongst woodsmen, the debate has raged on for generations. Which is better, the traditional heavyweight splitting maul or the lighter, faster splitting axe? Today, we're going to see if we can't get to the bottom of that. Take a look at the participants here. So, from the small, smaller side here, the Fowler's axe, I've got a Husqvarna splitting axe. Kind of a traditional Swedish design, very different than the American style. You'll see it's got that long, long blade off the front, carries a pretty good amount of weight in the back, but a relatively short handle. I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing it'd probably be around 26, 28 inches or so, this handle. But the thing that this has going for it, and what I've noticed from using it all last year, split several cords of wood, is it doesn't have a tendency to stick real bad, and it penetrates deep, carries that speed. It really introduces a long, slow force into the wood. I uh, have enjoyed this. I like the short handle, like the, the versatility of it seems to be very quick and a very nice tool, very good steel. On the other hand, we've got Granddad's traditional splitting maul here. This one here, I'm guessing is, what's this thing weigh? Probably, I don't see it stamped on there. Probably about a five pounder or so. I would say a five pounder, very traditional American style. You can see if we compare these two, very different philosophy of splitting here. This here is just big, heavy. It's a big bludgeon of a tool. Carries a lot of weight, uh, exerts a ton of energy when it comes in compact contact with the wood but it takes a lot more effort to get it swinging. I've always kind of thought, uh, I've always kind of preferred the splitting axe, and I, I don't know if it's because I'm biased uh, that it's more comfortable to use. It feels more nimble, it feels more axe-like than a maul like this. And I don't know if, it, if I have, again, it's hard, sometimes it's hard to get beyond, beyond our biases. A lot of people, especially smaller, uh, uh, younger splitters, maybe kids or, or, or some of the smaller women that, women, women that don't have the upper body strength of a 200 pound man have also, I've heard a lot of complaints that this type of a maul or working with this maul is difficult. It's just heavy, it's just too much. It's not, not designed for a petite frame. I think it's designed for a pretty good size um, swinger. So this might maybe a better option, a smaller, more nimbler splitting ax. But it's not a great option if you have to do twice as much work or you have to swing twice as many times. Let's go knock off a couple of big rounds. I got a great big piece of uh, 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 dug fir here and I'll cut both rounds from the same tree and we'll find out which one is the better splitter. a big bar with a 36 or a big log with a 36 inch bar won't reach all the way through all right you all are going to get to see this wood for the first time in the history of man ooh that's going to split nice I just had to do it, I couldn't help myself. So I want this test to be as fair as possible, so we'll use a tape and measure out that. Let's go, we'll go 16s, this is pretty big stuff here. So you notice that little cruiser axe. Two and a half pound plum, a proper cruiser, classic cruiser. Circa probably 1940, 50 Forest Service with the original Forest Service handle and sheath. Oh, if it only belonged to me. 
Hopefully Alan will forget that he, that he loaned it to me. I hit a rock coming through that at the bottom, didn't I? I can feel it. I think we're going to sharpen a chainsaw blade. Everyone at the base of Mount Fuji knows how to do jiu-jitsu logging. I kicked it so hard, even pulled it right out of its own bark. <laughs> 